Just open your own door? I'll do what I'm expecting you. Here. My uh, housekeeper's fixing us a late supper. We'll talk after you do this. Didn't change anything. All right, but it rhymes with. Yeah, Mar Marley, this is Ryan Harrison. Um, I need you to call me back. It's really important. I just need to know if Vicky talked to you. Yeah. Hey, Ryan. Dean, I need help. I didn't know, I didn't know who else to talk to. What's going on? It's, it's, it's Madison. I need to nail him to the wall. Well, what's he done now? He's just following Jenna everywhere, and, and I can't take it anymore. Who knows what the guy can do? I was hoping to give up. Forget that. I want the guy out of, out of commission permanently, all right? Look, Dean, I know what you're going through, but I don't There's no buts, Ryan. He's hurt Jenna for the last time. You said we had the emergency, and I've been waiting for quite a while. Oh, you're the girl for the stitches. I uh, yes, ma'am. Sorry, all our staff doctors are still tied up. Well, how long is it going to take? Because no one's even looked at my hip yet. Half our staff is out with the flu. I'm sorry. Excuse me, can I take a moment and help this woman? Please, I've been attacked. Has this woman been attended to? And Dr. Harris... She needs help now, can't you see that? What? Harley, it's about loving someone that I can't help. It's true. And I know that I can't have you, so I've got to do something right and marry a living. Dennis. What? I have no idea how you felt. Uh, well, I mean, I just never thought of you. I never thought that you... Well, you never thought that I could fall in love with someone, Marley. Or have feelings for someone. Or fall for a woman like you. Dennis, we're friends. I don't have any more friends, Marley. I thought I was the exception. Well, you are, Marley, in so many ways. Well, you never told me you had feelings for me, but I just, I couldn't believe it. Why not? Because I'm not your type. I see them. I mean, I see them coming in and out of the gallery. Look, I, I really believe the reason you're attracted to me is because I'm Jenna's girlfriend. Why do you always assume the worst about me? I'm not assuming anything. I just, I notice your choices. What does that mean? You're so competitive. You know, with you, it's, it's who can drive the fastest cars, who can lift the most weights, who can seduce the most women. Hurting your briefcase, can you forget? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Dennis. You have told me over and over again that I didn't know how to live. I mean, that I was too timid, that I didn't take any risks. In the beginning, I thought you were, Marley. But not anymore? No, Marley, you've, you've changed. Since you've been with me, you've changed. How have I changed? Do you think you ever would have bought that sports car if I hadn't taken you to race track? Do you ever think that you would have let yourself go to that island music if I hadn't brought you down to San Victoire? Well, I mean, wait a minute. Those things, they don't, they don't count. Why not, Marley? I've changed since I've been with you. Dennis. But Marley, when Jamie first got involved with you, I thought he was crazy. <laughs> Thanks so much. But then little by little, as time went by, 
I felt myself being drawn to you. I was thinking about you. What do you see? I didn't want you to get back together with Jamie. Well, I know. <laughs> you made that very clear. It wasn't because you hurt him, Marley. It wasn't because of Jamie? No. I wanted you for myself, and I still do. All right, Dean, just calm down and think for a minute, all right? We got to nail Madison legally. How, how do you do that? The guy's a con, man. He's been skirting the law for years. Look, guy. the guy hasn't gotten away with as much as you think. He's been in and out of prison most well, of his life. Well, he's out of prison right now. Well, what am I supposed to do? Just sit around while he drools over my girl? Guys like on. Madison make mistakes. They always do. I'm telling you, Dean, you need to relax. Dean, I know that this has been tough, but Jenna... Tom! Tom, please! This has been consuming our entire life. Every single newspaper has picked up on this, right? I mean, it's disgusting. People think she's a slut. Well, if they're out on the street, you should see the way guys are looking at her. People it. will realize that she was used, right? Well, what? Was she, she, was she just suffer because of what this guy's doing? You should be concentrating on Jenna right now, not on her guys. I have tried that. I have tried that a bunch. Well, it's a little hard for Jenna to put things in perspective. Every time she goes around a corner, she sees Rick Madison. Come on. I mean, the guy is ruining everything that we ever wanted. I feel com completely helpless. I'm just standing around doing nothing. You should let that come between you and not the truth. Jenna is my truth. I can't do it. I can't hold you. So we got some time. What time? What time? Do you understand that every time that Madison shows his face, it is hard for us to be what we used to be? Do you understand that? And tonight... I, I had a drink with Mara, and I'm just trying to get a little information out of her about Sunburst, you know? And, and Jenna got all uptight, and then and Mara asked me if I'd go spend the weekend with her. Are you gonna? Well, I guess if I want any information at all, I guess I'm gonna have to, maybe. Dean, you better be careful. Because you're starting to walk on some pretty dangerous ground here. Good, Ryan. Good, because that's exactly what I want to do. I made this really nice dinner, and... And he said, bouquet of flowers. And that's what sent him over the top? A bouquet of flowers? A bouquet of flowers for you. I'm sorry. So then I had to hear all about how you couldn't let go, and I couldn't... I never would have sent them if I thought they were going to Please don't apologize. I mean, the flowers were really pretty. Well, you deserve beautiful things. But Ryan wants to be the one to give them to me. Does he? Yeah. He does, yeah, sometimes. What are you supposed to do in the meantime? Live in a vacuum? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what it is he wants. And I, I really, I believe that if he, he hadn't gotten mad about the flowers, it would have been something else. Sounds to me like you feel you can't win. I can't, you know, and I, okay, so on the plane, the whole way down, I just, I tried to figure out what it was I do that makes him so mad. And I don't think he trusts me. Like I was some kind of criminal. All I did was put the flowers out. How, how did the fight end? We had a standoff on the highway down. He didn't even want to hear what I had to say. What did you stand for? The, um, wedding song. Ryan told you he didn't want to hear it? He didn't want to hear it. It was obvious. Well, then what do you want? I mean, you want to call it quits? No! I don't. I, I love him so much. It just it seems like lately all we do is fight. I mean, I'm always wrong. He's always right. I mean, I know what it's like not to measure up to Ryan's standards. I try so hard, but I... And so after he left, you got on a plane and you came here. Just the first thing I thought of. You come to me. Yeah. I mean, you could have gone to Donna, Marley, no, your father. No, no, they, they can't help me out with this. But I can't. Well, you understand, you know? Are you sure you chose to confide in me for that reason? Yeah. You didn't do this because you wanted to die for me, did you? No. No, I mean, it will, but that's not why I did it. You're not using me to punish Ryan, did you? Going one-on-one -on -one with Madison isn't only dangerous, it's stupid, Dean. Well, I mean, who said any... Excuse me. Hi, Donna. 
No, I haven't talked to Vicky yet. Uh, look, Donna, I, I can't talk about it now. I've got a client. Yeah, well, um, if she calls, can you can you call me back? Thanks. Problems. Yeah, big ones. Just where were we? Just let me run this by you one time, okay? Right. I'm not gonna go after Madison. I'm not gonna go one on one with her. That's anyone. good. But if I want to find anything out, Ryan, I gotta go where the guy goes. What, like into his world? Just want to check out the porn scene, man. I'll make a couple of new friends. I oh, can take a friend. Dean, your face is all over a bunch of magazines. Everybody's gonna know who you are. Well, good. I'm counting on that to help me. I'm, I may be one of those slime guys will think that they, I don't know, I'll help them. I'm their ticket out of the sewer really or something. really big maybe, Dean. I just need to know if you're with me. What are you going to do, try and find someone who worked for Sunburst? Exactly. Yes, I'll find them, and then maybe they can lead me to some other connection of Sunburst. Like what? I don't know. I don't know. It, I figure if Sunburst is involved with porno flicks, they got to have some illegal scams going somewhere something else. Something like drugs, prostitution? Yeah, yeah. And then I'll find a piece of evidence, something that'll connect Madison to something illegal. What kind illegal. of evidence? I don't know, man. Some piece Come of Come on, something. Dean, what do you think? This guy gets receipts for his drug deals? Dean, you haven't thought this thing through enough to get your foot in the door. Mara is my foot in the door, Ryan. Oh, and she has connections in the porno circuit. No, nothing like, no. She just knows everybody who knows everybody. And the girl, she'll introduce me to people. People? Just people, yes. People like Rick Madison who would shoot you without even blinking if you got in their way. Dean, I can't let you do this. Cops do it. Cops do it all the Cops time. Cops have man. training. They're professionals. They've got backup. They've got weapons. So give me some weapons. Dean, I can't do that. <sighs> Look, I promise you, man. I, I, I can get closer to that source than anybody no, else. You get closer than to death. You will get closer That's negative, to man. Dean. Dean, <laughs> first of all, you can't even get a weapon because you've got a police record. So I, I won't use a weapon. Dean, would you listen to me? In a case like this, you've got to be completely emotionally uninvolved. Kind of like you were with Hutchins. Yeah, and I almost blew it. Now, Dean, you've got a huge personal stake in this. Well, you know something, Ryan? I might back off, man, if the cops were doing anything about it, but they're not. Dean, no, do you have, have any idea what kind of world this guy. this guy Madison lives in? Do you? You can't trust anyone. You can't even trust yourself. What does that say for me? It's a bad scene. No, I know a lot of good cops who, uh, who got sucked into it. They thought it would be kind of neat to run their own little private scam, but it went to their heads, Dean. It's not going to go to my head, man. I don't want to be a cop. I just want to be a musician. Well, then stay out of this world. Try and get something on Sunburst from the outside. We have been doing that. Matt's been doing that for months. Well, then let Cat try and get some kind of Forget legal Forget about that. You know the kind of guy that Madison is. He's just, you know. Forget it. That's all I got. Man. Dean, I'm giving you the best advice I've got. It's all coming from your head, though, Ryan. And I follow my gut. Thanks, anyway. No. Look, Dean, the risks are too great. Well, I'll be the judge of that, all right? You know something? Ever since you, you, you just stopped or quit being a cop or whatever you did, you changed. Or maybe I have. I hate this thing. Well, then why do you carry it? I don't know. I didn't used to carry it, but ever since Jenna's been followed by Madison, I wanted to have her a, a way of getting in touch. Can I use your phone? Please? Hi, this is uh, Dean Fearing. Checking messages. What? When? Well, what did she say? All right, all right, thanks. Wait, what, what happened? It's, it's uh, Jenna. She's been in an accident or something. Madison? Who else? Yeah, can I go home? Maybe in the morning. I'd like to keep an eye on you tonight. Why? Well, in case you haven't noticed, Jenny, you're not too steady on your feet. You are going into shock when I was suturing you. Is Dean talking in there? <laughs> no, not yet, but I told the nurses to let him come right in when he does. Okay, thanks. I'm going to give you a mild sedative to help you sleep. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. Before I do, would you like to tell me what happened? Press charges? I wish I could, but the man that's responsible for this has made sure that I can't. Why? What do you mean? I, um, I was hired to dance in the rock video, and the director was making a pornographic tape, only he never told me that. I didn't figure it out. 
He made a porno tape of you and you didn't know it? He used a body double to pay me for it. It's too awful to go into. That's terrible. I'm so sorry, Jen. Anyways, a lot of people have seen this tape and now some men think that I'm an easy target. I can't believe you haven't heard about it. <laughs> well, they keep me pretty busy around here. The worst part is that every single time something happens, like a terrible thing happens here, I always feel like it's my fault. It is not your fault. It's my fault for being stupid. <laughs> You're not stupid. This director sounds like a con artist. He is. And now he's making a lot of money off of it. Well, just be thankful he's out of your life. I wish he was out of my life. He's all the way around now. But what about the man who bothered you tonight? He's from my school. He would have never done anything if it hadn't been for that tape. You know, lots change. People see me differently now. You, know, you, you can't worry about what other people think. Look, has your family been supportive? That's really important. Yeah, they've been really supportive. But it's been really hard on them. Look, I... I know right now it seems like it'll never go away. But it will. People forget. Believe me. I don't think I can. Look, you have to do something much harder than forget. Forgive yourself for being tricked. I guess I just don't know if I can trust him yet. Look at it this way. You're a whole lot smarter now. I would never have met you. I hope that's true. Well, I can tell you've learned a lot just from talking to you. <laughs> Look, if it makes you feel better, you're safe here. No one will come in this room without permission. I promise I'll see you when I go, okay? I don't want to go to sleep until Dean gets here, okay? Okay. Jamie to forget about me. Not exactly. Dennis, I know he came to you for advice. Marley, I didn't want to feel what I felt. I tried to fight it. I don't have a very strong set of rules, but I have a sense of what's right when it comes to my best friend. Your mother told me you had some kind of code of honor. Yeah, I told myself that you were off limits. And now? You said yourself, Marley. We've grown a lot closer. Well, I... <laughs> I mean, I thought you were more relaxed around me because, because I was off limits. That's part of it, Marley. I guess I just did a better job of covering it up than I thought. That's why you've been so hard on me? I mean, that, that's why you've been pushing me away? <laughs> yes, when you were together with Jamie, Marley, I had no choice. But now you're free. <gasps> free? My whole life is in pieces. Well, that's where mine's been for a very long time, and I was willing to leave it that way, Marley, until I met you. I need to know that there's a chance, that there's a possibility between us. And I know inside that you feel something, too. I'm, I'm gonna get no, it. don't. Let it go. No, I have to get the... I just... I don't know what to think. Wheeler Gallery. Hi, yes, I need to speak to Dennis Wheeler right away, please. Olivia? Yes, can you please put Dennis on the line? Sure, he is right here. It's Olivia. She seems upset. Yeah, Olivia, hello. Dennis, look, something's wrong, and I don't know what it is. I'm having these bad pains. I don't know, maybe the contractions or something. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't it a little bit soon for that? Yes, it's way too soon, Dennis. I'm scared. I'm here by myself. Okay, all right. Have, have you seen a doctor yet? No, no, I haven't called yet. All right, well, call a doctor right away, and I'll be over there as soon as I possibly can, okay? Okay. All right, bye. Okay. Olivia says she thinks she's going into labor or She's not due for another three months. Yeah, I know, but I got to get over there right away. Okay, wait. I was just thinking about something. 
Something that made you unhappy? No, what happened to this patient? She's a young girl. She was attacked by someone she felt she could trust. Her name's Jenna. Jenna Norris? You know her? She works with my brother. Well, I'm just afraid to ask what happened. No, she wasn't raped. But she had a bad scare because she got a hand wound. Of course, she had to hang around here for a couple of hours before anyone even talked to her. Why? Well, the usual reasons. The ER was swamped. We were short-staffed. By the time I examined her, she was going into shock. I want to see her, Kelsey. She's right in here. Excuse me. I'm looking for Jenna Norris. Excuse me. I'm looking for Jenna Norris. You know where we're Jenna Norris is? You better calm down. Thank you. I'll find her myself. Jenna! Jenna! Excuse me, Dean. Do you know where Jenna Norris is? Yes, she's she's come with me. Is she okay? Is she she's going to be, gonna be fine. fine. A lot better now that you're here. yourself because you're trying so damn hard to please Ryan. Well, I, I want to know how to do things. Be mature. Just be yourself. The thing is, when I'm, when I'm open and honest with him, when I'm truthful about what I'm feeling, which is what he says he wants, then all we do is fight more. Everything about, about the case and about how I led you on, but it was... Wait. to show him about how your feelings for Paulina were already on shaky ground. I'm sure Ryan didn't get that, did he? No, he didn't even try to understand. You know, he just gets so furious that I'm not exactly like him. <sighs> about those ruined marriage. Oh. It didn't even phase him. I mean, he just walked out, you know. I think that's what hurt me the most, that he didn't even... Love me enough to fight for me, you know? To fight for him, but at this point it just seems like neither of us will back off. So what do you want to do now? I want my old job back, for starters. Done. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> I wish everything were it's that easy, you know. I wish I could just snap my fingers and um you're the perfect woman that's in Ryan's eyes. Did you tell Ryan that you were coming here? Better call him, don't you think? Yeah. Um, I, I just wanted to ask one more thing of you. Could, sure. could you call him first, please? Are you serious? I just, I really think it would help, you know, if you explained to him about the kiss and the flowers and just... You know, told him that they didn't mean anything. You want me to tell him there's nothing between us? Did you? No, Vicky. I won't do that. Is there any change? No, Dennis, it just doesn't feel right. All right, all right, listen. Everything's going to be fine, I promise you, okay? I'm sorry, but I didn't know who else to call. My Aunt Liz is off playing bridge with some of her friends, and I didn't want to start a riot over there. It's okay, it's fine. I'm glad you called me. Well, I was afraid to go somewhere by myself. Well, what you should be doing is lying down. I had to call Barbara. Barbara? Olivia's midwife. I left a message on her service. You left a message on her service and she didn't call you back? But they told me that she would. Okay, did you tell the service what was happening? I said that my abdomen hurt. All right, well, look, I think we got to get you to an emergency room. Oh, no. What is it? What no. Is it? Okay, all right, starting again. I want you to breathe in good. Breathe in and let it out slowly. Is that better? A little bit? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. How often has this been happening? I don't know. Not not too often. We're going to start timing you. <sighs> Olivia, um, are you bleeding? No. Okay, good. Oh, good. That's a good sign. Do you think Do you think that I'm having contractions? 
I don't know. Does your abdomen feel a little very tight? I don't know, Riley. It, it just hurts. All right, Olivia, listen. You, you said that you felt like you were going into labor. Dennis, I don't know if I'm going into labor. I've never gone into labor before. How am I supposed to know? All right, okay. We can't get, We can't take a chance. we got to get her out of here. Then I don't, I'm not ready for this. This isn't the right time. It's not right. too soon. Listen to me. Now, calm down, okay? Olivia, I promise you I will do anything I can to help you. Everything's going to be fine. I'm gonna be sick. Okay. I'm gonna call Barbara, tell her we're coming to the hospital. Okay. Uh, I got it, I got it. Hello? Oh, Barbara, yes, yes, we we're just about to call you. Look, she's having contractions and she thinks that she's going into labor. No. No, she's not. This, this is Dennis Wheeler. Yes, yes, I'm the baby's father. And how did you hurt your hand exactly? He followed me outside with this drink that he bought for me, and when I turned it down, he grabbed me, and we started struggling, and next thing I knew, the glass broke in my hand. Wow. It's really not that bad, Dean. I mean, I didn't even realize I was cut at first. What about Madison? How does he feel? All of a sudden, he was right there asking me if I was going to be all right, you know, as if, as if I'm ever going to be all right again after everything that he's done. It's so strange. He's such a sick man. He, he, he tries to play hero after he, he's the one that caused all the trouble I just, I hate place. the fact that he always knows where I am. I hate it. Hey, I thought you were going to get some sleep. Doctor, can Dean stay for a few more minutes, please? He could tuck you in. How's that? <laughs> I'll check back. Mommy told me that you were in the hospital. I, I, my heart was like pounding out of my chest. I was, I was, I was scared. It's really not that bad. It is. It is. I mean, to me, I, I don't. I'll tell you one thing, though. What? <laughs> Even though you're in a hospital bed where most people look their absolute worst, you still are the most beautiful woman in the entire universe. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I do. I do. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Get some get some sleep. Just sweet dreams. Right? Just sweet dreams. I only dream about you. How's that? It's perfect. Works out nicely. I love you. Patient gets back from X-ray. Have me paged. Jamie. How can I know what we It's been a crazy night. What can I do for you? Uh, listen, this is going to sound just a little bit awkward. What? Uh, uh, Vicky left town, and uh, she didn't tell me where she was going. Now, I know that it was your week to have Steven, so I was hoping maybe she'd talk to you before she took off. We'd actually speak. She left a message on the service, something about going away unexpectedly. Well, not to Hawaii again. No, Washington, D.C. I see. I've got the number. Let me give you a copy. Yeah, thanks. Here you go. This is the Parkview Hotel. Yes, she should be there by now. Thanks, thanks, Jamie. I really appreciate this. No problem. I told you before I left the Bay City how I felt. I'm not going to lie to you and Ryan anymore. Lie about what? Oh, come on, Vicky. We both know that if Ryan were out of the picture, things would be different for well, you. Ryan and is me. in the picture. Ryan is the picture. What exactly is it that you've seen? I saw you become a one-woman political force. I saw you blossom. Grant, I was in love. Ryan is the first man who ever believed in me. A lot of people believed in you. And does Ryan get credit for all of that? I'll tell you what else I saw. I saw you become confident. I saw you get happy. Confident you got the happier that you got, the more threatened Ryan became. Look, you were monopolizing all my time, all right? 
He was just... He messed me. That's it. Okay. Convince yourself that you'll be happy living under Ryan's set of rules. Go on. Go for it. Oh, fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. And it's not working, is it? Next thing I know, you'll be accusing me of trying to turn you against Ryan. Look, it, it wouldn't have worked out between you and Paulina anyway. No, it wouldn't have. But a couple of months ago, I thought Paulina and I were the three things. That well, that's fine. Good for you. Congratulations, but it's different with me. I love Ryan for one thing, and I didn't leave him for someone else for another. And I loved Paulina, but we both know that's not enough, don't we? <laughs> I am committed to Ryan. I think that you find it a challenge to find out what makes Ryan. I think he's a mystery to you just as you are to him, and on a deeper level, the two of you don't connect at all. I mean, it's not like that with us. You know how I think, you know how I react, and everything you do makes sense to me. I'm saying you belong to him. You've been denied it a long time. Let's stop. Yeah, hello. Uh, could you tell me if Victoria Hudson has checked in? I see. Uh, yeah, well, her plane was supposed to get in around 8.30. Could you, um, could you just let her know that Ryan called? Thank you. Grant, look, I, I certainly can't stay here after what you just said. I only said what I've been feeling for a long time. Nobody needs to know. Oh, no. No, no. No more secrets. Well, you don't even sound like yourself anymore. Ryan, we're good at this. Ryan needs to grow up. A suite of rooms here. My staff uses them all the time. There's no need for you to be the exception. No, he would really prefer it if Why I... do you prefer, Vicky? Or isn't that important anymore? I'm... I'm going to stay right here. I'm completely exhausted, and I, I don't want to have to go all the way across town. That is sad. conference call tomorrow morning. You can sit in. Okay. Um, okay. Good day. Night. How's that? That's great. Thank you. Grant, thank you. You have um, you've really been here for me. I think you better say good night. Grant. No, no. We both said a lot. I, I, I think we should sleep. No, I, I just wanted to say if Ryan should call. I don't care what time it is during the night. Wake me up. What makes you think he'll call here? If he knows I came to Washington, he wouldn't enter here first. That's what you want? It is. Um, that could be him right now. Could be. Why don't you answer? Hello? Hello, is anybody there? Exactly, you trying to prove? Look, I know that she's hurt. I just wanted to see how she Shut was. Shut up, please. You have done nothing but hurt her yourself. 
Okay, you want to believe I've got ulterior motives? Fine. Sunburst does control DMM, but that, in fact, is not what I'm doing here. You know, there is one good thing about you being down here. For yourself. You're going to need this hospital when I'm through with you, man. Oh, come on, man. This isn't about that. Can I just let... All right, what? all right. I'll tell you what. If it's not here, then we're just going to have to reschedule. It's a little private meeting. Just me and you, okay? But it's not because I like you, man. It's because I don't. Let me tell you something, man. If I don't want you to, you're not going to be able to touch me. Watch me, Max. You're telling me that indigestion can make me feel this bad. You're lucky that's all it was. But I've never had cramps like that before. Spicy foods can cause a lot of distress in the third trimester. Okay, I guess I skipped the third enchilada next time. <laughs> uh, I thought maybe she was having Braxton Hicks contractions. No, it's too early for that. I'm going to go, Olivia. Okay. Listen, I, I'm sorry I made such a fuss and dragged all you guys over here. Don't guess. You call whenever you have a problem. Thanks. That's what I told her. <laughs> Olivia, would you like some tea? Oh, Marty, that would be great. Thanks. I'll go put the kettle on. Too. But not just about the baby. I didn't realize you were the kind of guy I could lean on so much. Uh, you know, I happen to shine in the crisis. Mm. Well, I'll tell you something. This has made me realize that I was right about myself. I think I would be terrible as a single mother. Hello? Oh, don't worry about it. I get so many crank calls. Do you really think that's what it was? Because, I mean, if Ryan called, uh, he might be Look, Peggy, don't drive yourself crazy. I'm positive Ryan wouldn't call here and breathe into the phone. <laughs> uh, you're right. You're right. I knew what I was thinking. <laughs> Things will be better tomorrow. Be so hard on yourself. You know what one of my greatest fears is? That I'll, I'll be alone with the baby and something will go wrong and, and I'll panic just like I did to oh, I think your reaction was very normal. You do? Yes, you were in pain, you were worried about the baby and you needed professional advice. Yeah, everything was just fine. Right. And now we know that you are. Well, just so you know, I was swearing off enchiladas forever. <laughs> Olivia, you've given up a lot this baby to make sure that he's healthy. I don't know. It just seems lately that everything I do is wrong. Olivia, this is your first time. Handling pregnancy can be a very enormous thing. Well, other women seem to handle it just fine. What, do you think you're the only tr only person that has trouble adjusting? <laughs> if it's any consolation, Olivia, I'd be lousy to have it. Thanks a lot for staying with us. You seem to say all the right stuff. <laughs> Such uh, generous luck. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I wonder if you could be right. About what? Maybe you should consider getting married. I... I put the kettle on. Now that everything looks like it's going to be okay, I think I'll be leaving. Good night. Marley. Wait, Marley. You got a lot of nice stuff there. Looks like I came to the right place. You're looking to buy yourself. Uh, buy. Buy.
I uh, I'm in the market for a piece, and I, I I just know that that's not the type of thing that you can just get anywhere. Well, you never know until you ask, huh? Right. right. Uh, but I need this for tonight, and I was just wondering, um, hypothetically speaking, of course, if this is the type of place that carries uh, firearms. It might. But of course, that would be illegal. Right, that would be illegal. <laughs> if I were to buy it. Um, but if I were just to put a little cash down on the counter like this here, um, to found this little beauty someplace else. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Thanks. Nice. 